DJB once again with a MacBook Pro. I just purchased this MacBook Pro. It's a 2021 MacBook Pro M1 Max, 64 gigs of RAM, 2 TB. Anyway, I got this thing at an amazing deal. Even came with a case. The reason I got it so cheap, it's because the screen is cracked, right? So let's move over here. Um, the screen is cracked, and I just order a brand new screen. Uh, when I get that new screen, this is going to be the dilemma. Um, is this sensor here. You see that sensor? I'm going to show on the screen. This sensor right here. You see that little ending? That's the sensor that's a pain in a box. What Apple did is this sensor has a magnet, and then it has a little reader that's going to attach to it. Uh, the screws right here, actually the hole for the screw. So this here controls the lid. So when the lid is open, it's closed. That's how it knows how to put your MacBook to sleep. Um, I've always been curious about this. And especially if you break this, right? If you try to take this off or if you try to turn it and you don't do it right, something happens. Uh, now, this whole entire hinge, right? Right here. This hinge here is now replaceable. You can now replace this hinge. It's part of this whole entire display, right? So if you damage that and you can't replace the hinge to get another one, you're kind of screwed, right? Anyway, to spin this, right? Um, is one way to do it is using some pliers. Another way to do it is get the right hex, um, this hex socket, right? So what I have right now, this particular one is a 3.5, right? So if you look at my kit here, it starts with M 2.5, M 3.0, and M 3.5. So the dilemma is Apple developed this, right? And it's in between. It's right in between. It's in between 3.0 and 3.5. And you cannot buy, you cannot buy anything in between, right? They don't make it. They don't sell it. Um, I found a company online. I'm going to show you guys right now. This is on AliExpress. AliExpress, they're selling this, right? Somebody somehow created this. Um, and it's about 14 bucks. You get two of them. It does all of these different MacBooks, right? Lid, angle, sensor. Cable sensor angle adjustment. Anyway, I cannot get this in time. Look at this, July 27th to the 30th. I want this sooner. And uh, I'm gonna order this just because I like to have the right tools for the job. And there's no other uh, tool out there for this other than this. Uh, if I look at Amazon, I would like to buy this, but this is exactly what I have right now. 2.5, 3, 3.5, right? There's nothing in between. So literally, this here is a waste. Um, so I'm going to use this. But the technique is, I'm going to cut a piece of this wire here, right? Just from a LED. I'm going to cut a piece of this wire. I'm going to shove it right there. And that's going to allow me to move this freely. And also, I can even remove it. Um, by the way, this, this here is a display from another MacBook. Um, so I don't care what I do with that sensor. This thing is broken. I don't need it. So I'm going to be playing around with it just to show you guys. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you guys how to remove this. Uh, literally, you just got to twist it off. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're getting started. Just wanted to show you guys. I got the wire right there. So you can see, I just placed that right there. And now I can shove this in. See? It gets really nice. So even, even as I turn it, you can see it moving. Let me get this a little bit all the way in. Yep, all the way. But you can see, it allows you to turn. So now I can either move it to the back or I could just, or I could just cut it, you know what I mean? But now I should be able to twist this. Look at that, it's twisting. But there you go, that's our little magnet. You see how I unscrewed it out? So if you ever break this, right? If it breaks, if you break this, that's one thing you could do is somehow either you may have to drill it out, right? You may have to drill the little piece. If, um, if it's totally broken, you may have to drill it out. But um, if you could get it out, then get another one of these and you can put it back and screw it in so that way what i'm trying to show you is that way this entire display is not garbage you know what i mean so that's one way to savage this entire display if you have a brand new display that just that piece is broken or something's wrong with it get another one and screw it in and that's it so i'm going to continue this video as soon as i get my new display we're going to be messing around with it We've opened up the Mac. We got our tool right there. So excited, ready to use it. But before that, we got to remove this broken display. So we're going to be pulling out all these screws. And also, before we start, we're going to disable the battery. 
totally gonna disable it, so we're gonna remove all of this. Our focus on this big, this broken screen is this area in particular, where our sensor is at, right? And um, what we want to do is we want to mark, we want to mark where our sensor is because the new one that we were going to be putting in. So let me go ahead and remove this. I think this is a T3, T3 to remove this sensor. Nope. Let me go with this. Yep, that's the right one. So that fell right out. As you can see. I need to be very careful with this. Because we're going to reuse it. So we're going to put that to the side. And same thing with the screw. I'm going to put it right next to each other. But this is where we're going to be marking. And I'm going to be doing this under the microscope. Because I want to make sure that the new display I make it identical that way I won't have issues with closing the lid okay so the broken screen angle sensor if you look at it you see how me having this all the way down all the way down I could see the arrow look how the arrow looks flush right see how it looks flush so what I want to do is I want to grab the new screen that I just received and make sure that that pointer looks identical. You see that? It's got to be identical. Otherwise, you're going to have issues. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the new screen and put this to the side. Okay, this is one of the screens I received. Um, I actually purchased two. So I'm going to go ahead and begin by putting this down. Ooh, it's pretty hard. But look at that. Somehow they uh, included an extra screw. <laughs> Um, that magnet grabs anything so we're gonna go ahead and put this down and we want to make it flat it's very really hard Whew. let's uh, go ahead and use a screwdriver because I don't want to I don't want to damage it so we're gonna be very careful yep keep going a little more yep now I could do it by hand okay so it's nice and flat and we're looking at our see you see how this one is different? So I'm gonna be adjusting this because I wanted to match the one that I just took out. So this is this is when I'm gonna use my tool to make it identical. And if I fail, I would have to take this screen out again and adjust it. So we're gonna do that right now. 
Okay, with my tool, all I know is I need to go a little bit forward. So let's get it in there. Go forward a little bit. And you see if it feels hard, you don't want to break it. Because it will snap. I need to go a little more. But yeah. Okay, just want to show you guys under the microscope, I adjusted the new screen, which you can see I have it on the left, to match the old screen. So as you can see, it looks almost identical. And that's what I want. So for for this reason, I'm ready to go ahead and do my testing. So I'm gonna put this screen on the machine right now and test. So we're gonna open this up again, really gentle. All the way out. And now, we're gonna put that to the side and put our MacBook here. And flip it. So we could get that angle properly. Beautiful, okay, we are ready for that test. And I'm just gonna turn it like this. And let's power it on. We might have to put some power. Let's get my wire here. Also, let's pull this back so you guys can see. And wish me luck. Hoping uh, it works the first time. So I don't have to, um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love the quality. Uh, the other screen was totally cracked. <laughs> So, couldn't get any pictures, but this one seems to be good. Okay, so let's log in. This computer is blank. I literally uh, bought this, like I said, and I formatted it, so it's got a fresh install. But right now, our main issues are lid sensor. So we're gonna start with going back, nothing. Now we go forward and see if the screen goes off at any point. There we go, there we go. Yep, screen just went off, see there? And I'm gonna keep going down, but yep, screen is off. So guys, please like and subscribe if I helped you because I've seen so many people having issues with this lid sensor. Let's open it up really quick. Oh yeah, look at that, came up, came up instantly. But if I try to close it, right there, boom. Which that is perfect. I'm not even gonna touch that lid sensor. I'm gonna leave it alone because I am happy with this. So this repair is completed. I'm gonna put everything back together and um, you know, complete the, the, the repair, but yeah, this is all set. Thanks once again for watching.